Five years ago, my parents bought a second television set because my mother refused to watch television with my father any longer. I can't stand the way he flips through the channels, she said. Note that my father actually has the new television. My mother was relegated to the den with the older model. Nevertheless, she now has her own set and conflicts about the remote control device known as the RCD in the broadcasting and communications literature are much reduced. Three years ago, Ellen Goodman published an essay in which she described the RCD as, quote, the most reactionary implement currently used to undermine equality in modern marriage. <laughs> Around the same time, I began to notice comic strips such as these. You may have trouble seeing this. This is a marriage counselor with a couple, and the wife is saying, we got along for 40 years, then we got remote control. <laughs> this is a Pickles uh, comic strip. The cat at the Pickles residence is climbing up the uh, curtains and getting to see an overhead view. The cat says, everything looks different from up here. Wow, I never knew the old man was bald. <laughs> Muffin, get down from there. Notice the husband clicking there with the remote. How many times have I told you to stay off the curtains? <laughs> click, click, click. <laughs> a squirt gun is a good way to break a cat of bad habits. <laughs> and you can stop channel shopping too. <laughs> and husbands too. Shortly thereafter, I needed to come up with a project for students enrolled in my upper division course on gender and family relationships. Why not, I thought, use this relatively unresearched topic of couples in the RCD to stimulate student curiosity and at the same time pursue my feminist-inspired interest in the mundane experience of everyday life. Over the past 20 years, Feminist scholars have shown that ordinary, routine, run-of-the-mill activities that take place inside homes every day bear an uncanny resemblance to the social structure. 